is one of the biggest lingering questions about COVID, how to treat those who have chronic lasting symptoms from the virus. A new book out called Chronic, The Hidden Cause of the Autoimmune Pandemic and How to Get Healthy Again, looks into this exact issue. We have the co-authors of the book joining us live, Dr. Stephen Phillips, a Yale-trained internist, along with singer-songwriter Dana Parrish. First of all, good afternoon to both of you. I'm glad you're here. Hello. Thank you. Great to be here. Dana, I'm going to start with you. It's not too often that a singer-songwriter is co-authoring a book about <laughs> chronic illness, but that's exactly what happened to you. That's right. It is uh, extremely unusual, and I had no idea that my life would take this turn. I actually was just on the heels of signing a deal with Sony Music, my dream deal. I had just written two songs for the new Celine Dion record, and boom, I got a tick bite that almost cost me my life. And over the course of uh, five months, I went from being perfectly healthy and having a fantastic life at the height of my career in my life to being in heart failure and having every single symptom in between from neuropsych stuff like anxiety and depression to full body weakness, fibromyalgia, all from a tick bite that went undiagnosed by 12 doctors. And it was Dr. Phillips who saved my life. And Dr. Phillips, let's bring you in on the conversation as well. Dana just mentioned having chronic undiagnosed issues. And for long haulers, people that have had COVID, thought they recovered, and all of a sudden mystery symptoms are coming back and won't seem to go away. Uh, how, how, um, how, like how often does that happen to people? Common, it's, I should It's say. about one third of, of COVID patients developing chronic symptoms. And you know, I've been uh, evaluating patients with complex chronic illness for the past 25 years. And what I've come to realize is that so many of my patients have underlying common infections that they don't even realize they have. And obviously with long COVID, it starts with an infection, but patients don't realize that things like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis and fibromyalgia also have links to infections as well. What do you tell people who are diagnosed with COVID as far as treating it early to perhaps prevent a long hauler type issue? Well, I treat my, I've treated about 60 COVID patients and I've treated them all early and none of them have developed long COVID symptoms. So, you know, statistically that would beat the odds if one third of COVID patients are developing chronic symptoms. I would say that people should know that there are early treatment options. A drug called ivermectin is very effective and there are many over-the-counter options as well. So what are some of those over-the-counter options that people might want things to Things like about? common sense, things like vitamin D and zinc and, zinc and uh, the supplement quercetin. And, um, you know, you have to keep your vitamin D levels around 55 to 60 to uh, improve your chances of getting through COVID okay. What types of questions, doctors, should people be asking their doctors in case they're concerned or maybe they have had some mystery symptoms start to reappear? You never should stop asking the question why. Uh, like for patients with long COVID, some of them may still have the virus. Some may respond to antiviral treatment or over-the-counter options like we mentioned. Some of these patients may have reactivated other latent infections and maybe other specific therapies are good for them and they need, they need, they need evaluations. But to just put them in a box and label them as autoimmune doesn't do anybody any favors, it just stops the investigation. I myself was labeled with an autoimmune diagnosis. I had two actually. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and an arthritis of my spine. They came on two months after spider bites and I rapidly became unable to walk. I didn't walk for two years. I got very anemic and weak. I couldn't lift my arms against gravity or wow. turn over in bed on my own. And I almost died. And I went to 25 doctors that couldn't help me. And I figured it out and saved myself for the last inning. And I, I think the patients with chronic and autoimmune illness should right. know that there may be a better way out there for them that maybe their doctors don't know about and yeah. aren't sharing with them. Dana, and that's and I'm the gonna, premise of the book. We're going to end with you, and we have about 30 more seconds here. What is the one lesson you learned in all of this that you want our viewers to hear? I was shocked at the lack of knowledge in the medical community about how infections trigger all this autoimmune and psychiatric illness. Um, I went to 12. I felt like they thought it was all in my head until I went into heart failure. It was absolutely devastating. And I wrote Chronic because it's the book that I wished I had when I was suffering. And I hope that it gives hope and light to people because it's very isolating to be going through a chronic illness and not understand why and have no clear road to help. Well, I'm glad you both are doing much better now. Dana Parrish and Dr. Stephen Phillips. Again, the book is called Chronic and we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks to both of you.